Easy keep. Time to see if the other half of my deck performs. Oh, I drew this card, too. Sick. Uh-oh. Selfless Cathar? Yep. Foil one, too. That's how you know it's good. Uh, yeah, that was a good draw. So we're going to Sable on two into Tinker on three. Try to just stave off the beats. Yep. It's got a pretty good beatdown deck here. And I'm okay trading this in combat this turn. Because I have backup artifacts. It's actually interesting to think that the Cathar might have been the more dangerous of the two. But. Oh well. I guess we're just going to Juggernaut. Yeah, Juggernaut seems like the... Eh. I don't know, Juggernaut might not be the right play. What if I just Paragon? Right, because I'm not blocking the Griffin next turn anyways. Uh... This gives me the best ground blocks, I think. Yeah, it's fine. I'll trade that for the Cathar and the mana. Especially given where my hand's going. Well, four four flyers away. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. It's also fine. I don't think I can attack this turn. In the future I will be able to, though. Oh man, the Ar uh, Aeronauts is flying? That's so lucky. Uh... Is that fine? Nah, I don't really want to do that. Okay. So I think I want to attack with the angel here. Oh, that was... I missed the damage. Oh, well. Uh... Yeah, I did miss the damage. That was a mistake. There's no pumps that I could possibly want to make this turn. If he attacks with the Swift, swift Claw, the Juggernaut is getting... Uh, ooh, is that targeting the Griffin? Okay. Well, let's draw up heal. Well, that took less time than the previous times I've had this crash on me. So I'll take this three, and then I have good blocks on other things this turn. Yeah, 
Yeah, that one damage could actually matter quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> or I could just draw that one. Yeah, turn sure is not uh, doing anything here. Mission accomplished, buddy. Let's think about this. So he has nothing in hand. I get to turn this into a 2-4. Uh, and if he activates... I, yeah, okay. So I want to pump again. Uh, the logic being that this Aeronauts is not getting in combat next turn. And the reason I didn't attack with the Aeronauts is that I didn't want him to no block with the 3-1. Because that would have been a nightmare for me. Surprise frogs. Yeah, let him order blockers first. That was a nice touch. Um I think I want a blocker back. I guess I should technically move to blockers. Just keep pumping that guy, I guess. I mean, I got nothing. I should play that so I have another pump next turn. This a lava axe? It's a lava axe. <sighs> okay, then. I guess I could have I'm trying to think if I had different plays last turn that would have avoided the lava axe, but not sure. This looks like a matchup where I think I want this guy. I only want this card. Don't want that card. I'm willing to submit this on the play. That's not keepable. That's significantly better. Oh, he's also on six? That's lucky. Not a bad one to draw. Doesn't work well with my Angel, but if we're fighting off low card counts and I have a Merc Lurker. Nice. So I've got a good turn 5 play here then. I get to Peel plus Cast Angel. Uh, yeah, so if I attack, I get to gain two life this turn.
So it's the same as blocking except for he takes two. Do I want to just ingenuity here? Interesting. Uh, I like this then. Maybe I sh yeah, I should have attacked with the Jerubai uh, Mud Lurker that turn. I thought he was going to block the Welkin turn, and I didn't want to peel anything, but peeling the Pegasus there seems fine. Especially because I have the ingenuity to draw into anything else I need. Ah, that was a mistake, too. I was thinking I wanted to cast Ingenuity, and then I realized my correct play was uh, actually Merc Lurk plus Activate on the Angel and go up to 23. Yeah, I'll take my 5 damage because of that. I think I just keep shoving at his face. And this turn I'm going to play Barrier plus Merc Lurker, so... Crowd favorite. That's... Okay. Uh, do I care? I don't think I care. Definitely playing Merc Lurker. And then Barrier? Is that better than Tinker? Yeah, Barrier is definitely better. Just give me more uh, ground presence. Doesn't really have. Yeah, he's not going to block, so he may as well shove. Sure. That doesn't matter too much to me. So my mana lines up perfectly to shove. Gain my four. Tinker. I just clogged the board up. It's kind of obnoxious that he has a Torch Fiend up to break up any Tinker action. Sure, that's a creature. Uh, I guess I'm just attacking with the angel. Probably put the griffin first.
Oh, that was a mistake. I just, like, missed that onboard trick terribly. Uh... Turning that guy into a frog doesn't help me at all, does it? Because they're still too... Yeah, this is fine. I guess the angel for the griffin and the other guy is perfectly fine by me. I'll probably just... Uh turn the Pegasus into a frog and block it down. Yeah, I'm okay with waiting on that. I've got enough lifelink action to race for a while. I'd rather just kill his two power griffin there. Uh, I don't really know what his answer to this attack is. Should have played the swamp. I could have given all my guys lifelink. Oops. So I missed a gain of two life this game. Yeah, that's the right order. Lifelink the guys who are getting through. Make the two three a frog. Again, if I need the two life at some point this game, something went a little bit wrong, but not horribly, I guess. Okay, cool. I definitely want this guy on the draw. Maybe board out a Tinker? Uh, I think Tinker is actually better than Barrier here. Because the 1-1's one not doing too much. Yeah. Uh, no 2-drop, but uh, if Tempo is really that big of a concern, I can always Void Snare. Just do this now because I don't want to accidentally miss it. Yep, no need to. Ooh, scoreboard. Yeah, no need to cast a bounce spell. Drew a two drop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now I'll cast a Bounce Spell. Not this turn, though. Yeah, I'm not blocking. I'll figure out where it fits into my curved cast. Uh, actually, this turn. Ooh, that was a very key draw. Let's watch this. Eh, I guess I'll watch that. Fine. I see how it is. You don't have your combat trick? I wanted to two for one of you. Let's draw some lands. Cast some spells. 
Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm actually fine if he just wants to trade there. Oops. Guess we just got him a turn later. <laughs> sure. Ugh. Lands? Take a few lands. Could lose to a triplicate souls here. That would be the actual nightmare card. That's fine. That's not very good for me either. Okay. Because now I can also uh, represent the ability to just play a land and Merc Lurker my Juggernaut and race him. So even if I don't draw a Swamp, I'm in the clear. Or not. So I'm going to turn to Frog, one of those guys, next turn, and block it with the barrier. Uh, and force him to sack the Cathar, I guess? It's not very good. I sh that was a huge mistake on my part. I shouldn't have attacked with one of those guys, uh, because I could then double block. So yeah, he should be just down a Griffin, and instead I will probably lose. Oh, he missed it. Interesting. Uh, well, I can't gain more than two life, so there's nothing I can do about Lava Axe. So I'm just going to kill that guy this turn. And Lava axed out twice, probably. This deck was very good. I uh, should have... Yep, there we go. GG's.